Notion has just released a very exciting update. It is Notion website. So you've always been able to make a Notion page available via a very complex link, but this is Notion now allowing you to effectively create a website from within in Notion. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the features, how it works, where to find it. We're going to talk about pricing and a little bit more about what I think they're trying to do with this and who they are potentially going up against. So as you'll all know, Notion is an incredibly powerful tool for doing all sorts of things within a business. I think this can now be used, the Notion sites can be used, particularly by marketers uh, or anyone within a business function to spin up websites really quickly. So effectively what they're doing is competing with Framer, with Webflow, with Figma, you know, with some of the other tools that are out there to try and get you uh, and try and help you build a website quickly. But they're always, they take a lot of time to learn. Whereas with Notion, if you already understand how to use Notion, you can then create a website pretty quickly. So first thing I'm going to do is show you actually a design I had on Framer, very, very rough at the moment, how I'm bringing it into Notion to just create a website directly from Notion and a little bit of a walkthrough around Notion websites, right? So here you can see in Framer, um, a website that I've been working on, a personal website, for example. So if we then head over to Notion, you can see how I'm slowly able to bring in elements of the website and framer um, into Notion and, and slowly kind of replicate that here. Um, the way you do it is all through these site settings. So you have these site settings for your website and then you have site customization. So site customization allows you to make different changes to the website. So you can have it in light mode, which is what I have here. So when someone lands on it, um, or then you can have this dark mode. Uh, of course, you can have systems, so whatever that person's Notion system is, is set up for. Um, this obviously wouldn't apply when someone is accessing it via the URL. Um, so, you know, I've chosen the light mode. You can have things like a favicon, um, you can set a header, which I haven't done yet, and you can turn your Google Analytics on and connect it to that. This is all very exciting. I think even more powerful than this is you can actually go ahead and you can add navigation to the website. So you can add a page and then link other pages within Notion. So you can have a website that has, will actually have navigation up here um, in a future video. I'm going to build out this personal website in Notion um, and then I'll show you that process. I'll show you exactly how I did it and, and break it all down. This video is just very much about this release um, of this update to Notion and how you can use Notion sites. Um, I've even seen people, you know, they've added in uh, an email sign up link so you can uh, sign up a newsletter, that type of thing. So this is going to be very, very powerful. And of course, if you have things in a database, you'll then be able to use that database to create custom elements on here that people can interact with. So it's going to be very powerful um, within Notion. And then one of the other things to talk about here um, is you can see they've detailed kind of all the elements of, of what you can do with this latest release. You can adjust the settings for your Notion site, um, you know, site customization. I think having a custom domain and being able to link a custom domain is really important. Um, and that's what's going to start to allow Notion sites to compete, you know, with some of these other uh, providers that are out there. You know, there were other companies that used to create layer kind of over Notion. Uh, there was one called Potion. There was another one called Super, I believe, um, that did this. So, you know, in a way, this is Notion now deciding, you know, we're going to do it um, for ourselves. Um, and you can even still include, you know, the ability to edit your site based on, you know, can edit, can comment. So you can have kind of people co 
collaborate on a website, um, which is really powerful. I think also the fact that they allow SEO is is really you know going to set this apart from you know just being a way to share a website. If it's SEO optimized, it's going to be very powerful. Um, and then in terms of the pricing, so there's been some speculation about what the pricing is going to be. Is it going to be priced independently? Um, personally, so I am on this plus um, package with Notion. Um, I get access to custom websites and I haven't had to pay any additional. This might change. Um, there hasn't really been any communication about when you add a custom domain, whether or not that's going to um, impact the pricing uh, or not. Um, so we've yet to see on that front. Um, but that's just a quick run through of the new sites built in Notion. Um, I think this is going to be very powerful, great way to spin up websites. Um, super fast. Um, do make sure to subscribe. I'm going to do that video where I break down how to build out this website. This is of course super rough. Um, I just threw this together in about two minutes. So if you're looking for more videos about great tools, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I share insights into marketing technology and how to use it as well as other tools to help grow your business.